Google Maps Go is the light version of Google Maps and in this video we'll learn to use it and explore the problems that I faced while using it. So let's get started. To use Maps Go we need to install it. We also need this navigation for Google Maps that you'll find on the same page. Lastly ensure that you have Google Chrome installed. That's because Maps Go runs in Google Chrome. Hold on to Chrome and go to App Settings. From Permissions, ensure that the location permission is allowed. Open the Maps Go app. In terms of interface, the app is pretty similar to Google Maps. Tap the Location button to see your location. The app has a bottom section. Tap on it to see the quick options. We can find places, choose transport routes and adjust map details. For example, let's enable satellite view. We can also check for forest fires and air quality in our area. Those three options open the search interface to find a place. The left menu contains map views and some other options. However, not everything is possible in this app. For example, real-time location sharing is here, but the app does not support it. It says to download the Maps app. Let's look up a place by tapping the search bar. When you search for a fuel pump, Maps Go shows their fuel prices. You can tap here to see all the results. Another good thing is that we get to see pretty much everything on Maps Go about a business. Photos, hours, ratings, phone and all other stuff is here. Also we get to see street view as we do on Maps. Tap this picture to see the location. It doesn't have arrows but we can still double tap to move around. In terms of transport options, it supports car driving, public transport, walking and others. The public transport view shows all the possible options. Open one to see stops, walking time, steps and arrival time. We can filter the trip as well. This includes the leave and arrive times and some other settings in the menu on the top. The car route has options as well. Tap the top three dots. We can add stops, set times, adjust toll roads and more. Let's add a stop. Search for the place to add it. Here we go. Now we have two destinations. Google Maps Go is much like Maps. But now I'll talk about the problems with this app. Google says that all you need is navigation for Google Maps Go to navigate. And we have that app installed. But when you tap the navigate button, it opens Google Maps. If you don't have Google Maps, it opens the Google Play Store page of Google Maps. This is not just for driving, it's also for walking and cycling. I did some research and found out that most users are having this problem. Maybe it's my device or my location, but if yours is working, it will be something like this. The navigation interface is a trimmed down version of Google Maps with travel time, arrival time and distance on the bottom. However, let's circle back on our problem. I tried a different phone that has Android Go edition. So in other words, Maps Go should be fully compatible with this phone. But on this device, I faced another issue. The map always had a problem finding my location even though the location permission is given to the app as well as to Google Chrome. This proves that Maps Go has problems and needs attention if Google wants this app to thrive. Overall, the app is good if you need a fast Maps app and if the navigation is working without Google Maps. However, if the app opens Google Maps on your phone to navigate, that kind of defeats its whole purpose of existing in the first place. Anyway, this is the end. Please share what you think of this app. Thanks for watching. Take care.